And a big congratulations to all our graduates from the Faculty of Environment for June 2021. I'm your Associate Dean Undergraduate, Paul Kingsbury. Whether you graduated from the Department of Archaeology, the School of Environmental Science, the Department of Geography, or the School of Resource and Environmental Management, congratulations again. You made it. You got through it. Keep it real. Keep it supernatural. And please keep in touch. My name is Dong Yan Yang. I am a social dean research and graduate study. Congratulations, you made it. We are so proud of your accomplishment. This special convocation reminds us the impact of COVID-19. It also demonstrates our strong resilience as a human being. Let's continue to support each other. Be kind to one another. Stay safe. Stay well. everyone, my name is Hugo Cardozo and for those of you who don't know me, I'm the chair of the Department of Archaeology. This has been a difficult year and I know that this is not how you would expect to graduate. We are all tired of the same old remote virtual interactions, so I asked my daughter Carolina to help me make this short video and add some color, wit and imagination to my message. I'd like to congratulate you all for your academic successes and for your graduation. The department and myself are proud of seeing another fine group of students completing this important stage in their lives. I never expected to be where I am now and my journey was relatively unplanned. I've always been fascinated by our place in the world and by how the past is the key to the understanding of many aspects of that mystery. If there is one piece of advice I have to you is that a thousand mile long journey starts with a single step here and now. Don't ever give up your dreams. I wish you all the success in your professional careers and the best in your personal lives. Stay safe, be well, 
and may the archaeology gods be with you. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Mann here. I'm the chair of the Department of Geography. And I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you for finishing your degrees, all the geography students and all the students across the faculty. JJ and I are very, very proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves. You're on a roll now. I hope you have an excellent summer and uh, good wishes with whatever is ahead of you. Hi, I'm Mark Jackard, Director of the School of Resource and Environmental Management, REM. And on behalf of REM, I convey our congratulations to all of the 2021 REM grads. What a time to graduate in a global pandemic. And, but you've done it. And in spite of these challenges, and what a story you now have to tell one day to the children in your life. So I wonder if they'll believe you. Completion of your REM degree is not only a stepping stone towards your future career, but it's also time to reflect on the world others and yourselves. So while you continue to learn and develop throughout your life and be curious about the world we live in, it's important to remember to give back to the community, to think of how you can help others. <clears throat> and during this pandemic, there's been so many wonderful examples of people doing just that. So you have lots of examples to go from. We also hope that you'll remember to keep in touch with SFU and, uh, and with your department perhaps participating in future SFU and REM events. REM is a special school. Our graduates are now in key positions around the province, across the country, and right around the globe. In the past, REM alumni were exclusively from our famous graduate program, but now it's possible with a bachelor's degree, the value of that very high degree can enable you uh, to use skills and your innovation and motivation to make our lives more sustainable on this planet. So good luck with the next steps on that path. Congratulations to the REM grads of 2021. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeremy Vendetti, and I'm the director of the School of Environmental Science here at SFU. And I wanna offer you a heartfelt congratulations for reaching graduation today. This is a major milestone in life. And to be honest, it's not always easy to get here. So congratulations to you. Whatever you do next in life, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks and take care. On behalf of all the staff in the Faculty of Environment, congratulations, grads. Kudos. Amazing work. Yay. Well done, grads. Great job. Congrats. Felicitations. Way to go, grads. You did it! Congratulations! Congrats, grads. Congrats, everyone. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. You did it! Job well done. Bravo. Woohoo! We're all very proud of you. Woo! Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Dana Lepofsky and I'm the graduate chair of the Department of Archaeology and the Faculty of Environment. And I have the honor of congratulating all of you undergraduates and graduate students on this really, really huge momentous occasion, graduation from SFU. I want to particularly call out um, Lara Spake, who is the recipient of the Dean of Graduate Studies Convocation Medal for her excellence in graduate studies. And that means a lot in Lara's case. Lara is a, a biological anthropologist and she is as broad as that term in her scholarship and her activism. She studies children and health in forensic contexts and in, in past contexts. She's really interested in ethics and physical and biological anthropology, which is a very, very important topic today. We are fortunate that Lara got her both her master's and her PhD in the Department of Archaeology under the supervision of Hugo Cardoso, and now she's doing a very prestigious postdoc at the University of Otago in New Zealand. 
And I just wanted to end to all of you to say congratulations again and to tell you that I'm filming here from my garden. And I chose filming to you from my garden because for me, gardens are full of promise and full of the future. And although they have disappointments, there's also full of many successes. And I wish that for all of you, that your life is full of bounty. And even with the, the issues that might arise, that really you have a glorious bounty and lots of fun. Congratulations to the 2021 Department of Archaeology graduates. As the current chair of the department's undergraduate executive committee, I'm very pleased to single out two exceptional students for our department's book prizes. The first of these was established in honor of Ann Sullivan, who served as our department chair for many years. This is awarded to a graduate who stands out for their generous service to the department. This year goes to Chantal Foster, who generously volunteered her time in the repatriation lab. The second award was established in honor of Phil Hobler, who was a founding member of the department. This is for academic excellence, and it goes to Kim Jones. I'm also very pleased to congratulate Kim on receiving the Undergraduate Dean's Medal for the Faculty of Environment. Kim is receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree and her Certificate in Cultural Resource Management from the Department of Archaeology, as well as a minor in Anthropology. Congratulations! I hope you're looking forward to your future adventures in archaeology and in life with optimism and excitement, and I hope that this never wanes. I would like to acknowledge that I am on the traditional unceded territory of the Semiyamu First Nations and the broader territory of the Coast Salish peoples. My name is Chantal Foster and I am graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology. I am very honoured to have been awarded the Anne Sullivan Award by the Archaeology Department. The Archaeology Department has provided me with many opportunities, such as volunteering in the Repatriation Lab, my co-op with the RCMP Forensic Identification Services, and volunteering and participating in the annual Centre for Forensic Research Symposiums. A sincere thank you to all in the Archaeology Department, and congratulations to my fellow graduates. Thank you to the Faculty of Environment for awarding me with the Dean's Convocation Medal, and the Department of Archaeology for awarding me with the Phil Hobler Book Award. It's been a pleasure being part of the department and the faculty. I'd especially like to thank George Nicholas and Bob Muir for influencing me and inspiring me throughout my university career. To my fellow grads, congratulations, and I wish you the best in the post-pandemic world. On behalf of the Department of Geography, I'd like to congratulate the following four award winners for your outstanding contributions and to wish them well in their future endeavors. The first award winner is for the Canadian Association of Geographers Undergraduate Award, uh, this year being awarded to Grace Sherrill. This is awarded to the department's top student for the year, and this year's award winner, Grace, graduated this spring with a BA in Human Geography and with a 4.06 cumulative grade point average. 4.06, I mean, that's better than A. I mean, this obviously a lot of professors thought that this was a seriously impressive student. In fall, Grace intends to pursue a master's degree at UBC and ultimately a career in community and regional planning. Our second award is for the Peter Schraub Memorial Book Prize, and the winner is Evangeline Lapami. This award is dedicated to the memory of Peter Schraub, a former Dean's Medal Award winner, an outstanding geography student who was an active participant in the Geography Student Union. This year's winner, uh, Evie, is a former GSU co-chair, and she graduated this spring with a BA in Geography, an Archaeology minor, and a Geographic Information Science Certificate, basically a triple threat uh, student, very impressive. In the fall, Evie will pursue advanced diploma in Geographic Information Science at BCIT to further enhance her already uh, impressive skills in spatial information science technology. Our third award is for the Kim Fofanov Memorial Book Prize, and the award winner this year is Esme Fish. This award was established by members of the department and friends of former geography student Kim Fofanov and awarded to an outstanding geography student from the graduating class. This year's winner, uh, Esme, graduated in fall 2020 with a bachelor's in, in environment in global environmental systems. She also had an archaeology minor and a spatial information system certificate, so another triple threat student who uh, didn't stop at just one major but basically uh, uh, filled her basket with more more tools for that future out in the world. Presently, Esme is working as an authorizations tech with the BC Ministry of Forests and Lands and has future plans for a master's in resource management. And our last 
award this year is the 2020 uh, Warren Gill Memorial Award. This year's award winner is Bradley Sarandi. It recognizes leadership and service within the community by a human geography student. And this year's winner, Bradley, was a BA geography major and had minors in dialogue and development that, and sustainability. That's two minors. And certificates in both environmental literacy and urban studies. And that's two certificates. So basically a major, two minors, and um, two certificates. This is, this is a serious student who has uh, uh, worked hard and to make himself, uh, um, give himself tools to go out into the world. He also participated in a range of volunteer activities on campus and worked with organizations in, down, in Vancouver's downtown east side to found Cultivate Inclusivity, which is a social enterprise that partners with local employers and employment agencies to empower community members that face barriers to finding employment. So on behalf of myself and the entire Department of Geography, I wish our graduating students and award winners all the best. Congratulations to you all. Hello everyone. It is such an honor to be this year's Warren Gill Memorial Award winner. To be recognized with this award is such an honor and I'm so grateful to have been chosen. It takes collective action to provide service and leadership to the community. So I thank each and every one of you for being a part of it. I look forward to being able to continue to empower and uplift the voices of everyone in the community. Congratulations to the graduates of this year. Thank you. I am honored to have received this award and would like to thank my fantastic family, the Canadian Association of Geographers, the SFU Department of Geography, and all the amazing professors and students I have met and learned from along the way. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Hi, I'm Evie and I'm graduating with my BA in Geography, minor in Archaeology, and certificate in GIS. I am extremely honored to have been selected to receive the 2021 Peter Schwab Memorial Book Prize. Having been a student at this university for four years now, I can safely say that I never thought that I would be standing here and receiving this award. I am grateful for the recognition I have received for my work with the Geography Student Union, the GSU. Let me tell you that it's not just my sole effort that has brought me here. I want to thank everyone at the GSU and Dean's office for all of the help and support for me to be able to proudly hold up this award as a mark of my achievement. On a closing note, I would like to encourage all students to get involved with their departmental student unions and faculty organizations to enrich their university experience. Thanks so much. Hi everyone, my name is Sean Markey. I'm the graduate chair in the School of Resource and Environmental Management. On behalf of all faculty and staff in REM, it's my great pleasure to award the REM Graduate Book Award to Audrey Oberton. The book award is given to an outstanding graduate student who's made real contributions to mentoring and improving the lives of our graduate students. And on those criteria, Audrey is very deserving. Audrey played leadership and mentoring roles in the START Lab, working with her senior supervisor, John Axon. She's been involved in the REM Student Union. And one of the real reasons why we'd like to highlight Audrey's contributions this year, the reason why I'm delivering this message to you from my basement. She played an incredible role in helping our incoming students adapt to all of the arrangements and circumstances associated with COVID and really enhance their overall first year experience in the REM graduate program. Thank you, Audrey. And again, on behalf of all faculty and staff, congratulations. Hi, Tegan. My name is Duncan Noller. I'm the uh, undergraduate program chair in REM, and uh, I'm here to present you with the Wolfgang Heider Memorial Book Award as outstanding REM major uh, for this year. Uh, I may have taught you REM 200, so we may have met before, um, but that might have been a while ago. In any event, I am aware of your activities. I know you've been uh, active with the Ban the Bottle program. Um, I guess I'm just thankful that it wasn't a Ban the Book program as uh, this award might have been somewhat inappropriate if that were the case. Um, anyways, uh, great work there. Congratulations. I know you've also been active with uh, Professor Adil and the Pacific Water Research Center. Uh, that um, 
uh, obviously water is your thing. Uh, so uh, I just want to wish you the best and congratulations on winning the book award and uh, continued uh, hard work and, and, uh, and good performance and all the best as you move ahead. Thank you so much to the REM faculty for the REM Book Award. I want to just extend my deepest gratitude to the Ban the Bottle SFU team for making my time at SFU so much more fun and so much more meaningful. Congratulations to the entire graduating class. I just wanted to say that I am honored to have received this award and to know that my hard work was recognized. I'd also like to say thanks to my excellent professors, my supportive friends, and family for helping me get where I am today. I'd also like to wish luck to my fellow graduates and my fellow award winners in their future pursuits. Thank you. I just wanted to quickly say that I'm honored to accept the Elton Hairstead Book Award for the Graduating Environmental Science Cohort of 2020-2021. I'm very happy to be recognized and I'll be using my award to get back to reading and learning. Maybe this time with a bit more fun stuff thrown in the mix. Thank you.